Hey everybody, Gina DeLuca here. All right, today I have a big canvas. I have a, a 16 by 20 here. And I have a boatload of paints. <laughs> um, these are a lot, there's a lot of custom mixing going on here, but I'll tell you what I've started with. Artist Loft Old Gold. Silver. Copper. Metallic, or I'm sorry, that's phthalo green. Uh, to the phthalo green, I have added gold. I have a, uh, oh, I didn't use that one. My bad. Uh, metallic cobalt blue. Metallic leaf green. Raw umber. To the raw umber, I have added some metallic purple and some deep magenta. In my magenta, I have mixed uh, copper. It's actually a very interesting color. I'll be very curious to see how this dries. I have mixed these, um, it's about one part paint, two part medium, and I have used a mixture of Floetrol and Deco Art Pouring Medium, and I have thinned with a bit of my mixture of 90% water and 10% Floetrol. I have not added any silicone to any of these yet. The Deco Art thickens up relatively quickly. So I don't want to add my silicone until I am ready to pour it because if I need to thin it, then I wind up breaking up those, the silicone and just, I get smaller cells than I'd like. So what's happening today? I, as I'm, uh, you can't see cause it's a big canvas, but I am uh, correcting my consistencies to make sure they're all the same. As I mentioned, this stuff thickens up and I have a lot of paint, so it's kind of like painting the Bay Bridge. By the time you finish it, you got to start over. <laughs> um, so when I was doing the idea that I had for the landscape with the balloon kisses, I saw in my head like this would be a really cool way to do like impressionist type landscape paintings. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> it could be fantastic. It could be a disaster. Either way, we'll learn something, right? So, um, this color is green, is the uh, metallic leaf green and silver mixed together. This is the metallic cobalt blue and silver mixed together. This is the silver with a touch of the metallic cobalt blue. A lot of times I, I find when I'm doing a painting, particularly if it has a lot of colors. If you can add a little of this color to that color and and such, your colors will be a little more homogenous. I'm going to add one drop of the OGX Coconut Milk Hair Serum. To each color,
But we've got an idea of where our mountains are. Let's say we throw some uh, greenery in there. Now there's gonna be a sunset right here. So I want to reflect some of the sun onto the mountains. It'll just be a little bit here. Now for our sky. All right, I need some water here. And the water's gonna be reflecting the sky, so you wanna keep that in mind. And now for my green.
All right, I have a sheet protector here. It's a little sturdier than the last one I tried. Hopefully this works. I have some Artist Loft uh, Black, the Flow Acrylic. Uh, it's mixed thinner than the other paints because I'm swiping with it. All right. Wish me luck. Ah, crap. These sheet protectors are just not, they don't work for me as well as uh, a wet paper towel. Dang it. Why is it missing those spots? That is bizarre. And I don't have that happen when I use paper towels. I may uh, officially be abandoning the sheet protectors. All right, so this looks nothing like a landscape. <laughs>
want to kind of delineate this somehow. I'm going to go with my tried and true uh, damp paper towel. It always works for me. Oh dear. So that was drying already. <laughs> this painting is being very difficult. All right, I'm just gonna swipe this again with green because I'm not just I'm just not loving how uh, how that turned out. All right, I'm not sure what else I can do to this without making it worse. <laughs> so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna clean up and bring you in for a close up. Okay, here it is. It kind of looks like what I was going for, sort of. <laughs> it looks like a landscape. So there's that. Definitely things that I would do differently. Um, I might approach each section as its own swipe. Uh, maybe do the sky first and then come in and do the mountains next. And then swipe the water and then swipe the grass. That might be a better way to go about it. But overall, I'm not displeased it definitely has that sunset look where it's like the sun is kind of setting over there and the sky is a little bluer over yonder and so it was it's it's all right definitely room for improvement but I don't hate it so please like and share and subscribe and all that good stuff do check out the description box below for links to my paypal tip jar if you feel so inclined or my gofundme page either way is a good way to give back the gofundme is uh, a cd uh, pre-order campaign um, i'm recording my next cd and all of the money that comes in through that GoFundMe goes straight to recording. And uh, I've laid down my scratch tracks. I've done my first day in the studio. Thanks to the support of all of y'all. So thank you very much. And uh, also in the description box are links to my uh, Amazon store. Anything that you purchase through the entire site of Amazon. If you enter through that link, I, I make a small percentage of it. No additional cost to you. And uh, my website, GinaDeluga.net, you can pop in there to 
purchase art and my music and also go make some art in our Facebook group. Come join us over there and post your masterpieces and ask any questions you might have and uh, get some inspiration. All right, you guys. I hope you learned something I did. I'll be revisiting this at some point and trying to get my uh, my Sandra let on because that woman can swipe like nobody's business. I might have to go watch some of her videos to brush up on my uh, swiping. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have a beautiful day. Now go make some art.